Tupac's family hires attorney to reinvestigate alleged Diddy links. When it rains on Sean Diddy Combs, it apparently pours, as Tupac Shocker's family looks to reinvestigate him. Sean Diddy Combs is not having a good 2024. We can say that with some confidence, in so far as Combs is currently sitting in a detention center somewhere in Brooklyn right now, having been arrested last month on federal charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. He's also apparently staring down the barrel of another 100-plus lawsuits related to allegations of sexual assault and other misconduct, most of them linked to statements about the rapper's infamous freak-off parties, which we guess is as good a time as any for the family of Tupac Shakur to start asking some fresh, pointed questions, too. The family has reportedly hired an attorney to launch a new investigation into the currently incarcerated Combs, looking into rumors linking Combs to the rapper's 1996 death. This is some fairly aged beef as these things go. Rumors about Diddy being somehow involved in Shocker's drive-by shooting in Las Vegas in September of 96 have circulated in the rap world for nearly 30 years at this point. You can hear Eminem reference it in multiple tracks, for instance, including 2018's Kill Shot. They were exacerbated in 2008 when Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, who is currently facing murder charges in relation to Shocker's death, and who faces trial next year, said Combs allegedly offered him money to kill Shakur and Suge Knight. Combs, for his part, has always denied any of this, and authorities have stated on more than one occasion that they've never considered him a suspect in Shocker's murder, none of which has stopped the Shakur estate from hiring New York attorney Alex Spiro, who recently made headlines serving as Alec Baldwin's attorney in his eventually dismissed Russ shooting case, to investigate links between Combs and Shocker's death. This is all per Court TV, who talked to Spiro to confirm the news. No further details about how that investigation is being conducted are being released at this time, but we're definitely in a when it rains it pours situation regarding people looking to extract some measure of consequences from the suddenly embattled combs. <laughs>